Peace family. I think I'm gonna need to do a garden tour for y'all and I'm gonna do a quick harvest because I pull up to mommy's house and the mosquito man is at her door talking about he coming back in the morning to spray for mosquitoes and I'm not eating out of this garden if that man come back and spray for mosquitoes. I don't trust that stuff. That's the reason why I grow my own food. I don't want anybody spraying anything near my food. I don't care if it's just the grass. So let's take a look because we've done a lot of work over here. It's looking beautiful and abundant and I'm still proud and excited about it. There are some wins and some losses though. <sighs> I haven't come back with the cornmeal and gotten all the ants out of here and I'm pretty sure the ants are what are taking this tomato down. This just looks crazy and crispy. I also need to mulch it. So I'm gonna give these to mommy, but this one over here still looks great. And we are grateful for that. There's rosemary there as well. The alubu is always looking lush. Um, we've got sweet potato, which I was not my plan. Um, I'm probably gonna pull a bunch of this sweet potato leaf out today actually and dehydrate it or cook it in freezer or something like that. Um, those are pigeon peas right there growing nicely. I plan to put a kabocha squash over here. It really just depends on if mommy lets that man come and spray. And is that poop? Or did somebody plant something there? Cause there is a stick there. So it's possible something was planted cause that's how mommy likes to show that she planted stuff. We do have basil popping out here, looking beautiful, happy and healthy. And see, I need to keep coming and cleaning up because my peppers are leaning. If I don't clean everything else up, then they don't have anywhere to be. There is a tomato still alive back up in there. And I need to get the weeds back there. Yeah, there's actually some basil up in here too. See, my walkway is nowhere near clear. Oop, there's a wasp. I'm not gonna get all in there, but back in there, there's purple basil as well. And then when I come over, I have to direct the cucumber because there are pepper plants under here. But the pepper plants are still healthy under there. And you can see the Armenian cucumbers. I might have planted maybe one too many. It could have been one too many. But mommy's excited so far. I was trying to keep it going up the trellis, but I think there's no stopping it now. Um, so yeah, it's just gone too far. So I'm just letting it go. I have basil over here on the end, and we have the burgundy okras right here as well, looking great. I will keep the cucumber from climbing on the burgundy okra, and then I don't know if I mentioned this green okra over here. It's doing well. We've got alubu over here looking great. Um, longevity spinach is something I'm about to harvest right now as well. Um, and then I think this is the Malabar spinach coming back. I did like the spinach. Mommy didn't. Uh, but some seeds probably fell and just replanted themselves. This was a bed that we were planting on redoing. Need to add some compost. Need to redo the trellises. You can see they just... This is raw footage, okay? So it's on the ground. Then we've got our ugu. It's looking good. As you can see, Mommy's composting in place. <laughs> She didn't cover it up, but she made her own little trellis system. So they are climbing. And then this is another one here. This is where the avocado was, but he died, sadly. Over here, we've got our big old comfrey, of course. The comfrey is who brings the, uh, the bees to our gardens. And so we don't have to worry about pollination when we have them. Um, and also... It is our fertilizer, so when I cut it back up off of this pineapple guava that looks great, then I'll go and put it somewhere to fertilize another part of our garden. Uh, this pepper is doing well, and it has a pepper on there. I can ask mommy if she wants it, or does she want me to um, leave it there another day or so? Uh, this is a fig tree that still is waiting to be moved. This was one of the giveaway fig trees. Let's go back this way. And this garden bed, 
Um, I'm actually getting excited because I think the greens are going to start coming back. I just need to cut all this dead off. But I do see new growth coming in the middle areas. So we might be done with the huge, huge pest pressure. And I told mommy I wasn't cutting these out. She'd be complaining about these greens. Girl, you'd really be complaining if I had to start over. So I'm not doing that. Celery still alive, looking good. This got a gangsta lean forever, I guess. I thought he was going to stand back up, but he didn't. But the hibiscus looks great. Or that's also known as um, Roselle. Jamaican Roselle. The cantaloupe is starting to produce. It's looking great. It is crawling all through the place. And I love it. This green is also still alive. And look at this one. These are the purple greens that Diva Jones sent me. I'm so happy this one looks some kind of healthy because <laughs> I am trying it's just hot out here it's crazy out here uh, the Ethiopian kale is kind of making more flowers kind of struggling a little bit but it's not it's time that's okay and I think I see a harlequin bug or something on right there so I gotta come in here and probably flick some of those off look at these tomatoes I gotta get these tomatoes from mommy so this big old tomato is still doing well. I need to come back and um, tie it up. But you can see we've got some red tomatoes here that I'll come back and get after the tour. Stepping back, um, our blackberry is doing well. I think last time we came, uh, my daughter got a blackberry and every so often we're getting a few, but these weeds really need to come out that's something that i haven't been able to do uh the sugar cane is looking great um the ones in the back are recovering from the grass man cutting it i'm not sure how he did that because this is clearly a little bed it might be a little one but it is a bed so i just i kind of struggle with that i have to come over here and take pictures send it to mommy she got to send it to the grass man it's a lot but i can't come over here and cut the grass so we're gonna keep trying to communicate this was a lemon tree, I think, that one of the brothers got from mommy, but it I think it's the rootstock that's coming back out. That's why we never really pay attention to it. Um, here is our alubu, and I can see that uh, the cantaloupe that I planted in here is actually still trying to live. I didn't think it was doing that, so I guess it's finding its way, and I will let it do that. Um, over here... We got big old onions, but I'm so excited. This is where I first noticed that our greens are starting to come back, you guys. There's hope, there's hope. It doesn't cause a thing to smile. You don't have to pay to laugh. You better thank God for that. Look at that, it looks great. It's coming back. I still need to cut it. I mean, it don't look great, you know what I'm saying? But it looks alive, it looks like it's making food and our mexican sunflower is getting big and beautiful and this will also be a chop and drop um fertilizer for the garden it's getting a little wild over here it's getting a little wild well we knew it was going to do that because there's mint here okay then i think this is malabar spinach and i don't know if mommy just throws sometimes she composts in place and it is planting stuff um last time i came to check on the purple kale that I planted over here, they looked all the way dead. But, oh, look. Look, he's coming back too. So he's okay. I don't know where the other one, there's the other one. So we shall see. All of mommy's Nigerian um, plants are coming back. And these look like basil. Did she plant basil over here? Cause it looked like basil definitely basil i think mommy planted basil on the side i still need to put mulch over here as y'all can see i haven't done that grapes the grapes are a little rough the grapes have not been trellised since they've been pushed over but they are producing i'm not sure if these are green grapes last year we picked them green well i didn't pick them but they were picked green and i thought they were picked early <sighs> that's oregano down there at the bottom um, so we're just kind of testing them little by little, but some of them are a little damaged. I definitely need to get in here and pay it some 
attention. Um, so this is a tough one in the tour, but it is producing, so we're grateful for that. Mommy's got some garden eggs, nice and healthy over here in pots on the side. Then if we back up, our echinacea is looking beautiful right here. We got one big old onion looking good. I've got a lamb's ear over here at the bottom. And then we've got a pepper plant over in this corner as well. And then our peach is definitely getting taller. So I'm very excited for the peach and its growth. It looks happy and healthy and it's doing well. Over here, we've got a huge comfrey, which I always get to cut back, and I need to come back and cut it back. Um, I need, because I need to get down here and get some of this yarrow. Look how much medicine, and look how many seeds and stuff uh, we have out here. So exciting. There we go. So I'm gonna cut those. Somebody cut, oh, the, the grass man, not somebody, cut my black turmeric, but the black turmeric that we planted, um, I think that was in the fall, or was it in the spring? It was in the fall. Did pop back up, and I think it'll be fine, but it's just like, pay attention, because this is part, this is definitely in a bed, but, you know, certain things are not in your control when you're growing at someone else's house or in, on their land or a community garden. And you just have to know what's important to you. So, like, for sure, if that man sprays in this garden, I'm not going to be planting and eating out of it. Um, that's, But it is her yard, so it is her prerogative. I was like, it's, if you want to feel comfortable out here and you feel like you're comfortable eating and stuff, then do it. It's your yard. Like, I don't want to, I cannot commando someone else's space. I appreciate them sharing it with me, and I'm grateful for the time that I've had here. And, but I'm hoping to make like a healthy change as well in the people's lives that I love. Um, so that's what I'm hoping for. So I hope you guys enjoyed the garden tour. I hope you are happy and healthy and doing well. And I'm going to get some food out of here today. Lots and lots of greens. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.